Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News. Today, we're diving into some heated controversy surrounding the upcoming Assassin's Creed game, Assassin's Creed Shadows. If you haven't heard yet, Ubisoft has been defending their decision to feature Yasuk, a historical black samurai, as one of the game's protagonists. So, what's the real story here? Let's break it down. First off, who is Yasuk? Yasuk was a real historical figure, a black samurai who served under Oda Nobunaga in feudal Japan. His story is fascinating and unique, making him an intriguing choice for an Assassin's Creed protagonist. However, this decision has not been without its detractors. Some fans are outraged, calling the game woke and disrespectful to Japanese history. The Japanese trailer even got bombarded with dislikes, and there are petitions circulating to boycott the game. Ubisoft has officially responded to the backlash. They've penned a letter defending their choice, stating that Yasuk's life is ideal for telling an Assassin's Creed story set in feudal Japan. Ubisoft emphasizes that their games are not meant to be factual representations of history, but rather a blend of historical contexts and creative storytelling. The developers have put significant effort into ensuring an immersive and respectful representation of feudal Japan. Ubisoft CEO Yves Guillemot and producer Mark Alexis Kate have also spoken out against the hate, urging fans to keep an open mind and denouncing the malicious attacks directed at the game and its team. So why does this matter? This controversy touches on critical issues like historical accuracy, representation in video games, and the balance between storytelling and factual events. It's a rich topic for discussion. What's more important in a game like Assassin's Creed, strict historical accuracy, or creative freedom to explore lesser known stories? Let's get the conversation going. What do you think about Ubisoft's decision to feature Yasuk? Do you agree with their approach or do you think they've crossed a line? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to Joystick News and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.